Jay of the Rock for Sound Collector. We're here with another Transformers unboxing and review. And today I have the Transformers War for Cybertron Trilogy Voyager Class Ramjet. And you can see this here. Um, this was actually a birthday gift that I got. Oh no, I'm sorry. Christmas gift that I got. And it wasn't even one that I was looking at specifically, but I do love all the airplanes. I really liked that as a kid. One of the reasons why I liked the Decepticons was basically the planes, Soundwave, of course, Megatron is a gun, Shockwave is a gun. <laughs> I mean, you could tell what, when I grew up where it's like, oh, guns are cool. Even though it's funny, I never thought real guns were cool. Um, but here you can see inside the figure, and they do the kind of cloth type restraints for him get him out of course you see the instructions here and it doesn't look like this is too difficult which is good because if anyone has watched my videos they know i am horrible i mean not bad horrible at doing transformations so i always need help from my friends, either EM360, EM Go360, or Toys R Russ, R U S S, are usually my go to's for how to transform things. Alright, so we get the two weapons out. And then, oh, I think I missed one right here. Oh, they got the, oh, wow. They really take extra security. <laughs> it's kind of funny because it's already in the box. You would think that if they took the same kind of security with the other ones, you wouldn't have a lot of the problems that you do. Oh, and it's also because of the way it's it's situated here. It's harder to get it out. All right, there we go. It wasn't too painful. So one of the things I did like is just the color scheme on this. That was one of the first things that attracted me to it um, when I saw it. And even though it wasn't like I was definitely like I have to pick this up right now, I just thought that it did look cool. And if I did catch it on a sale or something, that I would pick it up. Um, so let's just start out with the basic articulation. You look here, you can move the feet down here, which is good. You get a nice wide base. And what I like about these new figures is all the different designs that they put into it. I think it really helps. Uh, the, the cut down here, all that. Of course, you can bend at the knees. You know, you can rotate the leg. Of course, you have the range, range of motion. You're going to have a little bit less back here because of that. But I think that part... Oh, no, that one actually doesn't move. So that's it as far as that. Uh, as far as the hand, you can't rotate the hand or the wrist area. You got your regular elbow bend. You can rotate, I guess, where you'd see the bicep there. Then rotate the shoulder. I'm sure popping out is probably part of the transformation. Uh, with the cone heads, you really don't have any motion. I've just noticed that any of the cone heads, you don't. And I think part of that is also because it folds inside here normally when you do the transformation. So that's pretty much it. I mean, the design is nice. Like I said, I like the way the cockpit looks here. Just to mix the colors. Looks like that's supposed to be down to cover. Cover them up, man. Cover your shame. And in the back, I mean, you have kind of like, I guess, the kibble because mainly of the cone here. But it's not terrible. Uh, the wings on the side are nice. Let's put on his weapons. And I like that you're able to actually place them on and have them kind of like straight shot. Because sometimes on the older ones, like it's harder. Let's put them on the turntable. So, yeah, this is nice. Um, so for, for this, it's just, like I said, the, the wide base is nice for just being able to stand them up. It's really easy. Um, you know, basic articulation, cool color. 
Um, I already know it looks good in its plain mode. We're going to see that in a moment, but I'm going to use movie magic because I'm not going to subject you to me struggle bussing through doing the transformation. Uh, but you can see how it looks standing. You know, you're able to do a couple of different moves with that wide foot base and, you know, balance it out with the wings and I guess the jets in the back and stuff like that. So I think overall it's nice. The guns are nice, basic. Um, pretty sure that the way the hands are, it looks like you could mix and match with pretty much anything else. And you also looks like you could do the mount here, I assume. Yeah, so if you had extra weapons or something, or you just want to do alternate, you can go with the mount underneath on the pegs. And then I'm sure the same thing, most of the pegs all are the same. So anytime you see one of these circles like that, you could put the weapon. So if you want to, yeah, so if you want to do like that, so that's cool. So you can do under, you can do the side like that, or you can have them hold it. I kind of sometimes like almost like the double. What I like to do with these once I saw it is do one of these. I always thought that that was cool. I mean, especially if you do four. I mean, you think about it, you're a robot, you have that strength. So I'd think that having like that quad shot, I mean, you could do even more. Like I said, you could put another one here as well, firing. I mean, you can get crazy with it, which I which I really appreciate it. But let's take a look. Um, actually, let's just do a little comparison real quick. Let me see, let me grab one that you can look at. So, one of the larger ones, but put them next to one of my larger jet transformers. And I, I really liked him. I mean, that, that look is just sweet. So, obviously, he is smaller uh, than this guy. And this guy also is a lot more difficult to transform, but... This one, like I said, it almost feels like in the vein of kind of like the old school. So you have that old school seeker style, but modernized where this one is like, yeah, you can see the plane, but this is supposed to be like totally different than the old school G1 seeker design. So I really appreciate both, um, especially the differences in how it looks when it's in its airplane mode which we're gonna take a look at right now. All right, and here he is in jet mode. And as I said, the colors is what really does it for me. It just looks awesome. The purple, black, and that teal is sweet. Um, so let's take a look at it closely. So the transformation actually was not that difficult. You know, I still looked it up and everything, but it wasn't that bad. I like the blue on the cockpit. Really nice. I love the fact that it says Ramjet on the side. It looks like a little issue there, but no big deal. Got the black nose cone on it. You have... I'm pretty sure this is... Does this come down? I would assume it would, right? Maybe not. Oh, that's just... Oh, that's just the hinge. Okay. For some reason, I thought that maybe that was the... Uh, you could put down landing gear, but it doesn't look like there's landing gear with these. Let me know if I'm wrong about that, but I don't I don't see any. So you can see what it looks like underneath. I really like this because it doesn't really look like a robot underneath. I mean, obviously, you can see the chest, the legs that fold up, obviously in the back here. But I like that when you put the feet together, you go from that wide base to something that looks pretty good. And then the wings, like I, I said, I really like that. The Decepticon symbols on each side. I think it looks clean. Um, all the parts snapped in really well. And I just think that overall, it's a really cool looking jet. Now, as far as the weapons, you basically can put it in any of the same pegs as before. So I usually like this style, putting it here. So you can see what it looks like. But a lot of people like to go with 
what they consider a little bit more traditional on the wings. So you see here, you can put that here. Uh, for me, the big thing is that it kind of hides it some more, but depending on how you display it and just what you're going for, it's fine. So it's like, so you see, like you see how it's kind of like from this view, but then from the side view, it looks kind of cool too as well. It almost looks like kind of like a mixture between a, a missile and a gun. Um, I think you can put it here too, right? Yeah, so you can put it there as well. So that's, a, that's more hidden, but that could be an aesthetic thing where it's kind of there. So I think that's cool. I mean, even though I don't think anyone would do it, I think you could even put it up here. Yeah, look at that. I mean, yeah, it's silly. I don't see anyone doing that, but you could play around with it. But overall, like I said, I really like this. It's a great addition to my plane collection. It looks cool in robot mode and in jet mode. The colors are nice. It feels good. Um, it was a gift, so actually I'm not sure of its current price, um, but it's a really good line. I, I, I really think that if you like any of the Seekers, it really fits it. It has that G1 uh, look of the Seekers, but modernized where it's just a lot more detail, more articulation and so forth. So definitely give this one my seal of approval. And if you approve of these type of videos, please consider giving me a like, sub, all that stuff everybody asks for it really helps. And I love to hear in the comments from other collectors or people that might just have any questions or comments. But thanks again for watching this and geeking out with me as I did another unboxing of this awesome transformer. And until next time, remember my motto, no discount, no deal. Up, up and away. Catch you later.